Hey guys, I'm Phoenix here and welcome to a quick Q&A session on two questions that have been asked while I was not accessible to the internet and as a result I thought I would just do a quick video just on the two subjects so that we can hopefully bury these two um, forever because this is something that I get asked quite a lot. Now I am running just Industrial Craft 2, I am on the latest build which is build 755. Now I should note just quickly is that um, if something isn't working the way that I've said that it should work then check one of two things. First check your build number because the builds may have changed things. So if you're on, on, on a very old build or a very new build and you're watching a video from a very new build or a very old build then you know things might have changed and what you might need to do is uh, watch some later videos essentially. The other reason is that you might be on Greg Tech. Now I know that some people download packs not necessarily knowing what's quite in them but if you have problems with Industrial Craft 2 if things aren't working how you expect them to then chances are it's not the mod that's changed uh, it might be some mods that you've got installed with it like Greg Tech. Greg Tech is going to change how Industrial Craft 2 works in a substantial manner we had uh, someone complaining that the uh, resin didn't, um, the sticky resin wasn't making rubber in a furnace. And I will just show you now. Furnace, sticky resin, add coal. And it smelts, and it, it, was, it smelts into rubber. The problem was that he was using Greg Tech and it was changing things substantially so it was diverting him onto a onto a much longer chain of events that would allow him to get him to get electrical machines so that's just something to watch out for so let us begin shall we and we start with the this thing again the fluid slash solid canning machine now when you first get it I believe it's on canning like this and your CF sprayer neither your CF sprayer or your CF powder will actually fit in the slots if your UI doesn't look like this and it looks more like this then you've got the wrong machine this is specifically for uh, like foodstuffs rather than the more uh, intricate things such as making fuel rods and doing fluid um, stuff basically so you if you want to make yourself some uh, construction foam, you obviously need your CF powder and your sprayer, but you also need this to be on fluid and rich. And then if it's on fluid and in rich, you can put in your CF sprayer and your CF powder. Now next to it, I have a pump. Your pump vent needs to be facing towards your water source. So this is what you can use an infinite water source if you want. I'm just using a, a, a drainable one and um, a finite one if you like so you can see it go into the machine so that went into the pump then you use a fluid ejector upgrade to pump it out into the attached machine and then it will fill up the CF sprayer now if you don't have a CF sprayer in there it will automatically fill it up this tank and you do not need another machine to, um, to do it so let me just spray that up we empty it. What you need to do is place your sprayer there. Actually, I need to empty it a little bit more. It does a thousand at a time, so let's just empty it a little bit more. And you place your CF sprayer there. You uh, put some construction foam in there, and this will read in a moment 7,000 MB because it will put in 1,000 from the CF powder that you just made and the 1000 from that tank. It will empty that tank into your CF sprayer if needs be. If you want a simpler way of doing it, you could potentially put another canning machine next to it, but you do not need another canning machine next to it. You only need one to make this stuff. Uh, anything else, you're just overcomplicating it. So that's that. This next one up is the fermenter. And now in this situation, the person in question was having trouble with the heat mechanic and then trouble getting it to fill a jetpack. Now, 
First thing to note, there are two jetpacks. There is the jetpack, which uses biogas to fly, and the other one, which is the electric jetpack, which you charge in a bat box. So if you are wanting to use biogas to fly around, you just need your standard jetpack. Now, how does this all work? Well, when you place your fermenter, you will notice you've got a heating element here. Now this heating element needs to match the heating element on your heat generator, whatever it may be. Now, what have I got here? Uh, I've got a liquid heat exchanger. We'll just use this for, for now. Now, if I just place my liquid heat exchanger anywhere, you will notice that it plumps it down there with the, ex with the copper thing facing towards me. Now, you can rotate it using your electric wrench. Uh, if you shift click on the heating element it will automatically put it onto the other side um, so if you sh or anywhere actually if you just shift click anywhere on it it will just put it onto the other side um, however if you click on the if you just click on it it will on the heating element it will um, it will drop it like so so you can rotate it and you can place it easiest way that i found to place it you just face the direction you want to go and just do that like so now we've got a complete setup um, of stuff basically and that's exactly how i did this one so i just plumped the mfsu down and then that one and then turned around and put that one down yeah it's a very easy way of doing things so yeah you put your biomass into there so you've got all green add your heat through that system that i just showed you uh, obviously depending on what generator you, you need you might need coils in there you might need pellets whatever and then yeah so that's heated and then you put your jetpack into that into that slot and it will just automatically fill up the biogas into that slot when it's full it will automatically drop down into that slot these ones are for any upgrades you've got so yeah simple really um, nothing too complicated and i hope this has helped people and hopefully this has buried the problem of these two machines anyway for a little while until uh, the guys uh, for industrial craft change it majorly again and i need to do a new video on it so anyway for now, I will say thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped some people. I will see you next time.